Good morning and welcome to the channel. First thing is first, a merch plug. It's been too long, so we got these new key tags. I actually have kind of a, a thing going on with Dalton Bertrand 850 of YouTube where we have similar key tags. So we got the American flag one in red, white, and blue and my American flag one in all green. And of course, all my other key tags, the Hey Buddy, the SS717, and et cetera, et cetera. Now today, the goal is to get the C7 down to RPM, Race Proven Motorsports, and they are going to retune with 100% E85 and get the car ready for the first call-out event on April 29th. I mean, it's not gonna take that long to get the car ready, but just to make sure it's squared away and to make sure I have enough power to beat Nick because I believe he and I are going to race and it should be fun. However, I don't have a ride and I wanna trailer it with the Dirty Max, so we're gonna go to U-Haul and rent a trailer, but the first thing we have to do is go to Tractor Supply and hopefully they have like a 10 inch or an eight inch drop hitch for the truck because I currently only have a six inch drop hitch and I don't think that's enough to safely tow with a lift of that size. Worst case scenario, I can tow with it, uh, but I would like to get a better hitch too because this is a Harbor Freight one. And I mean, it held up okay, but I, I really don't wanna trust it. So this here is the backup. Uh, but hopefully, like I said, Tractor Supply has a better one. So anyway, let's get going. We gotta love a little spool in the morning. Boys, we skip straight to Tractor Supply. And uh, Tractor Supply has a lot of cool stuff. A lot of like, when you're doing shit stuff. Eight inch drop, that should be fine. Great success. We are at U-Haul because I'm going to rent a trailer. I know, I know, I really need to buy one and I will. As soon as the YouTube check for March hits, I will buy my own trailer. But for now, I am just going to rent one to make it easy. It's like 75 bucks for the day. I don't even know where the trailers are. I don't know where I'm going. Victor is also on his way here to help me because I have never, lo oh, there they are. Uh, I have never loaded a trailer before by myself. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it, but it's not something, not like it's, it's not exactly brain surgery, but I don't want to risk it because I'm hauling a, uh, a somewhat valuable car. Honestly, even if you're just hauling any car, I mean, you don't want to like fuck around because I don't want the car flying off and hitting somebody else. Look, there he is right on cue. He's in the Ford today. The Ford lives. Well, how are you doing, buddy? Living the dream. Living the dream. Fuck yeah, dude. Be careful. So Victor's gonna back the truck up so I can film it. And because he's probably better at it than me. And this should work out just fine. And we got Thomas over here who has, doesn't watch the videos, but he's heard of them. Like a glove, buddy. Yeah, Adjust it perfectly. For you. <laughs> we are back to towing, which I like now. It's fun. Uh, but now let's go load up the C7. And now it's time for the cold start of the C7. I'm gonna put the camera down on the McChicken. Should be fine. Here we go. Now, Victor, I can warn you. What do you think I sit out here? I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's honestly, it's pretty loud. All right. I'm actually fucking screaming right now. Like, it's actually so loud. If you scream, like, I was screaming in there and you can't fucking hear anything. Definitely the most graceful exit of a Corvette ever. Victor is strapping her down and then we will be ready to roll to RPM.
gave me the high ticket because I'm so high off the ground. That's pretty cool. Never did that before. Vehicle class two. Well, I just got passed by a state cop. I'm doing actually under the speed limit for once. I'm watching Doug DeMuro, by the way. Uh, but we did not get pulled over, so we're good to go. I think we're good to go on that one. Sorry the vlog is gonna be like real jumpy today. I'm just driving around doing all kinds of shit trying to get this organized, but we are here and uh, the garage door for the dyno is open. And I guess we'll just go ahead and park right here and unload the Z06. Now we are tuning, the reason why the, the vet is coming here is because we're gonna tune now for E85 and get her all sorted out, like I said, for the call out event and hopefully make close to 1100 wheel horsepower somewhere in that neighborhood. I think we can do it. Fran is pretty confident. I'm confident it already makes like 920 on pump. So uh, we should get there. Oh man, it is quite a sight to see. I can only imagine what it looks like going down the road because it was turning a lot of heads out there. Fran! How'd that thing tow? Dude, it tows like a dream. Really? It does. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit kind of like steering a cruise ship, but yeah. it's all right. It's good to see you, brother, dude. It's been too long. It's been too long. Welcome, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed my time off. I'm not going to lie. I bet you did. Sometimes it's needed. Well, I made it here, buddy. You did. You did. What do you think? It's a, it's a sight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> all by yourself, too, huh? Yeah, all by myself, man. Aren't you proud? <laughs> I am. Actually. Oh, good, dude. That's what I live for. Oh, uh, did you have to buy this, get this from them, too? Oh, I had to get every. Now, listen, I had to get everything <laughs> from fucking U Haul because mine, I didn't have a, a big enough drop hitch, and then I went out to Tractor Supply and bought one. But U-Haul trailers are two-inch balls, and Not I got a bigger five one. And 16, so yeah, I got a yeah. bigger one, so I had to get from U-Haul. So so far from U-Haul, I'm surprised U -Haul, they actually had that big of a drop. I'm I am surprised too. So I bought the drop hitch. I had to buy the adapter from U-Haul, the ball from U-Haul, and I rented so the trailer. Dude, bucks. I you know what? U-Haul just made a nice little killing off of me today. That's for oh, sure. Man. What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. I'm doing well. First journey. First uh, big towing journey. Yeah, yeah. Squatting a little bit in the back. I didn't even notice that. I'll tell you, you want to talk about turning heads. Uh, yeah. I, I Dude, say, people really would go like, by and be like, what the <laughs> hell? Yeah. Like, if I see the vet. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, sight to see, I guess. It's an unusual setup. Even the toll lady was like, wow, those are fancy. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the $4. Thank I'll you. No, I, yeah, it was class two for the yeah. first time in my life, so it was like 25 bucks. What's, What's up, Steve? How are you, Good man? to see you, buddy. How are you? That tip is massive. Yeah, got a big tip. I'm surprised it got over because this is, or maybe it's. Yeah, well, the splitter, it does rub, but yeah. because this is just the cheap plastic one, I didn't really care. Yeah. The carbon ones are like two grand. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that with a carbon one. Tires in here for you. My new setup. Oh, okay. I got those new Street, Street R's. R, okay. Yeah. Nice. Try them out. A little shorter guy, too. Yep. Good. Needless to say, if you need anything done to your car, check out <laughs> Fran and the guys here at RPM. This car is a freaking, dude, it's a freaking monster. <laughs> it's fucking you guys, crazy. You got some driving. Dude, it's, it, it's like unreal. It's only on pump, too. I know. And you know, the last car with nitrous and all like this is way f like when, when the fucking boost hits in this, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you might That's as well strap thing, like, a rocket to yourself. The stock blower nitrous stuff will hit hard, but then it falls off up top. And right. The majority of the time you're racing in this, it's in boost, the, you know, the whole time. In exactly. Full power, so it, it, uh, plus I'm sure the trans is way different than anything. Oh yeah. It's way, right. no, the whole, it's, it's a totally <laughs> different animal. This car it really yeah. is. Steve, he went on a family trip and left his GoPro. Well, it fell off of your snowboard. Yeah, it fell off my snowboard. Yeah. Oh, get this. I used to do that. He went through the whole story, and now I'm not supposed to say well, it on camera. So there you go. But, well, no, you can because that it, it's great publicity. It, it entices you to buy GoPro. Yeah. You know Honestly. what I mean? Like, I'm, so, I'm, a, I'm a GoPro. I, I know I'm not filming on it now, but I'm a GoPro customer. I'm a GoPro life, guy uh, to now. death, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, they treated me right, so I, I'll give them that. Mike. Absolutely unbelievable. So I didn't realize the fucking fender folded down. So I'm over here climbing out of the roof like a jackass, and here I could have done this the whole time. Yeah, it just has these little, like, Jeep hood things. Well, gee, Fran, thanks for telling me, hey, buddy. Man. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
Franz ZR1. Yep. So what is done to this? And I know it makes like a thousand. You said about a thousand horsepower, right? It makes nine sixteen boost only, and then it made eleven hundred on a hundred and fifty shot. Nice. Um, it's still stock short block. Uh, just heads cam, ported blower, uh, meth. You know, it's on like sixty percent e, and then it's got a you know hundred and fifty shot on it. And you're guessing that the new ZR1 is going to easily make a thousand plus because this is a 2.3, as you've been saying. Correct. Yeah, I think new ZR1 with a cam and you know headers and upper and lower pulley stuff like that. I, I think that should be able to make a thousand on the stock blower. That's crazy. So yeah, this is a 2300. New one's a 2650. So I still love the old ZR1s too. Yeah, I, the I carbon this roof. Thing, man, this is one of my favorite cars I've ever owned. And like I was saying, I can't wait to maybe. Uh, maybe or maybe not have a manual again maybe, that'd be yeah, great yeah, dude yeah. I, I just gotta say that would be nice <laughs> while we're here doing updates we want to talk about the c5 the giveaway c5 that's it which shane decided at the last minute that we should do the pro charger before he wraps it and fucked us real good so thank you shane for that but it's over here at rpm and yeah they're gonna do the pro charger install but the giveaway corvette is here as you can see stock as can be yeah absolutely stock <laughs> And uh, like I mentioned earlier, the guy, he already did the paperwork, so the giveaway winner owns the car. It's already owned by him. The title's done, everything like that. Uh, so he's good to go. But uh, did you order it yet, or I gotta pay you first? Yes. You well, gonna we're gonna do that today. Yes. <laughs> and there you go. So soon it will have a pro charger. It's like a two week lead time to build it. Probably, yeah. Uh, seven to 10 days, I think they usually say. Yep. Uh, but there's your little uh, C5 giveaway update. I can't wait. I can't wait for it to be done too, and to see his reaction. We'll have to baseline this thing too. Yeah. See how much power it makes. See what it makes. 280. Well, there you go. So check out the RPM channel <laughs> yeah. for updates yeah. on the C5. 280. That's what I guess. 280. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, auto. Auto, oh, yeah. auto 99. Yeah, I was I was gonna say at least 300, but. I, I'm not yeah. sure. Really? really? That's, they were rated for 340. Yeah. These guys have no faith. All right, there she is. That's it. Fran, it's all you, buddy. That's it. And now we got to make some more power. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this upload so far. I hope you enjoyed watching the Z06 get trailered around by the Dirty Max, which I'm now here. This is the day after that. Uh, but we are going to finish up with a mail time. This is from BYE Wear in Reno, Nevada. Shirt of some kind, I, I don't know what it says. It says, uh, YE, be yourself every day. No note in the package, but uh, thank you for the shirt. One from Derek in Southfield, Michigan. Fuck off, buddy. Hey, fuck off, buddy. Mike, been watching your channel since the Hellcat purchase. Your content is awesome, thank you very much, and you've always stayed true to who you are. I've watched both of your videos discussing YouTube's demonetization of content. I get it, this is a, a way to avoid demonetization by saying, hey, fuck, cough, buddy. You see, that's not, that's not swearing. His Facebook is uh, K-A-E-O-N-U-S. Instagram is keep an eye on us. Thank you, Derek, for the shirt. With that being said, this video is over. So if you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, take care, have a great day. Since I have a little bit of extra time tonight, I wanted to do a, a Q&A, so the, the regular Regular vlog is now over if you would like to leave I understand uh, but let's have a little hangout session here so as always I posted a picture on Instagram and I told people to ask their questions below in the post so if you don't follow me on Instagram do so now I'm at 229,000 followers uh, looking to hit a quarter of a million soon if you if you're feeling generous but anyway let's start at the top we got Andrew Ellers and he says first comment uh, Caden the Savage says please follow me not gonna happen. Pem Burton 21, new Raptor, question mark. You know, I'm still looking, I'm waiting to hear about the V8 Raptor, but if uh, that is confirmed and Ford is making a V8 version of the Raptor, uh, I definitely plan to buy one. Would you consider a dropped truck? Why or why not? I would not, you know, and I'm a, I'm a guy who, whatever you wanna do to your vehicle, lift it, slam it, whatever the fuck, doesn't matter, you can do whatever you wanna do, but I myself am not a fan of low trucks. I just think trucks should be lifted and cars should be lower. Uh, I'm watching your vlog right now. How did you and your girlfriend meet? We met uh, at the beach about, uh, God, I am old, five years ago, six years ago. It's been a long time. I'm getting up there. I'm uh, 24 now and I feel like it's kind of all downhill. Really after 21, it's kind of all downhill. Are you keeping the Z? Not really. I love my life. Uh, are you keeping the Z? Yeah, I plan to. I plan to have my Z06, my McLaren, and my ZR1, at least for some period of time. Any mods to the ZR1 once you get it? I'm not sure. I'm thinking that the 
Headers are gonna be the same for the Z06, so they should be available right away. And I would love to do a, of course, you know, the, the thing you gotta do with every car is an exhaust. Even my McLaren, which is not really modified, I have an exhaust on it. So I'm always gonna at least do an exhaust. Will you do a burnout in the Dirty Max? I will, when we get some nicer weather, you know, and I fuck around in the summertime. I'm sure some burnouts may or may not happen. Race the C7 versus the McChicken. I plan to, I just gotta find somebody to drive. The thing of it is, do I trust someone to drive the McLaren or do I have someone drive the Corvette? I don't know, the McLaren is worth a lot more, but the Vet is a lot harder to drive. So it's like, I don't know who I should trust to drive it, but eventually we'll do a race and, and you know, we'll race both of my cars. When do you start on the Corrado uh, eventually? You know, I haven't gotten to it yet, but um, you know, now that my Z06 is almost done and the truck is done, I should have some more free time to maybe start on the Volkswagen. What do you predict the mile per hour to be for your first, for your C7 in the quarter mile? Uh, I would think somewhere around 150 miles per hour. How tall are you? I am five foot nine. Andrew Slosher, what's the first thing you're going to do to the ZR1 again? Exhaust. What editing software do you use? GoPro Studio. Are you getting a new Duramax? I plan to get one uh, because I want to have a, uh, you know, I want to have like a tow rig and I don't want to use my old truck. Not that it's old, it's only got 40,000 miles on it, but really that's more of a show truck and I don't want to beat it up by, uh, you know, towing with it all the time. Is the Coast Guard really a branch? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure the Coast Guard falls under DOD and I believe they are a branch of the military. Uh, you don't hear about them that much, but um, I'm pretty sure they are. What was your first car and how much did you pay for it? My first car was a 1989 Silverado and I paid 1200 bucks. Would you get a Raptor or a Tundra Warrior? I can't really answer that question because I have no idea what a Tundra Warrior is. When would you get rid of the 570S? I, I love this car a lot and I would only get rid of it to trade up for 720. And because I'm getting a ZR1 and I got a Z06 and a ZR and the ZR1 and the McLaren, I don't see myself getting a 720 at least for a while. Do a backflip, definitely I can't do that. Are you still thinking about getting an old project truck? For this summer, I would love to get an old square body Chevy or something, something real cheap and make it look cool. I would love to do that. Uh, are you gonna host a truck meet or call out? Well, we have our first call out coming up on April 29th here. Um, so a little over a month and a half away, mark your calendar, it's gonna be a great time. And my truck will be there. You're more than welcome to bring a truck, whatever you wanna bring. Have you ever played a musical instrument? Played the piano when I was a kid. What's your favorite Seinfeld episode? That is a tough one. My favorite Seinfeld episode. I love uh, the one, the, the little Jerry is great with the, the chicken. I always love that one. Uh, I actually really like the Merv Griffin show too where Kramer has the whole, that, that's probably my favorite. I would say the Merv Griffin show is my favorite one where Kramer has the whole uh, like set, set up in his apartment. And the, the, my favorite line out of that is uh, Jerry and Elaine are in there and they're talking about something and Kramer, <laughs> he says to Elaine and Jerry, he's like, now you two used to date, what was that like? Or, or so, I forget what he said, but then Jerry was, or Elaine said, Kramer, what the hell's the matter with you? And that line just made me laugh all the time. And then when they brought in, when George brought in the squirrel and they had the hawk and uh, there, I mean, that's just a great episode. So yeah, I would say the Merv Griffin show, which I don't hear, you know, when you ask people, everyone always says like, oh, the suit knots here, just because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But I haven't really heard anyone say about the Merv Griffin show, and that is definitely my favorite. What and who inspired you to do YouTube? Mainly uh, Matt uh, Moran, Matt Moran Motoring, used to be Super WRX fan. I've talked about it many times. He would be my main inspiration for starting a channel. He and Super Speeders Rob, uh, but really, uh, you know, Matt, because he was doing these videos with his Mustang when he got it, his EcoBoost Mustang. And I was like, well, that would be interesting if I get a car and I just want to, you know, show people what it's like to own the car. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what I modeled my channel after at first. And I even did reviews back in the day. Um, so I would say definitely Matt, if you haven't seen his channel, check it out. It's Matt Moran. So Matt, M-A-T-T-M-A-R-A-N, Matt Moran Motoring. Why don't you wash your cars at your house? Well, you see, it's winter time, so you can't hook up your hose because then you're gonna fuck yourself and your lines will freeze. So that's why. When it's the summer, I will, damn it, I lost my spot. When it's the summer, I will absolutely wash the cars on my house. 
and see where the hell was I? I'm just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to start over somewhere else. Do you plan on getting a new Silverado or Raptor? We talked about that. Uh, that's a long question. Uh, let's see what we got here. What's your favorite gun? My favorite gun, I would have to say, is if you're talking about all time, or you're talking about favorite gun that I own, favorite gun that I own would be my 1911. My favorite gun of all time would be an M1 Grand. I've always wanted one, like a real authentic one from World War II. Uh, the 1911 is a favorite. My, my grandpa carried his 1911 through D-Day and into France and uh, all through the war. Um, the 1911 has always just been a really cool gun to me. I don't know why. Way cooler than the Beretta when it was eventually uh, replaced by the M9. If you have a kid, would you get the Lamborghini Urus or the Porsche SUV? I would not get the Lamborghini Uterus. I've said many times before, I don't like it. It looks like a Lamborghini Blowfish. Uh, I would consider getting a Macan, but not a Cayenne. Uh, although if I had a kid, I would probably get, if I had to get an SUV, like a family hauler SUV, I would probably get a Volvo XC90 or a Range Rover. If money was no object, what would your ideal garage be? Honestly, pretty much what I have. You know, I would maybe get a 720, but I would love to have a ZR1 and I love my truck. And that's really all, uh, that's really all I would, I would want. So I pretty much have my, my dream garage. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really go for like the million dollar cars. They're really cool, but I wouldn't want to drive like a Veyron. Like, this, like my McLaren I drive every day. I wouldn't want to drive a Veyron every day. What's the easiest way to learn how to drive a manual car? You answered your own question. Just go out and drive, just get a cheap one and go out and drive it. Uh, you know, my first ever manual car, I drove it home from the dealership. I didn't know how, but I just did. So, um, you know, you really just teach yourself. As long as you know, like the fundamentals, you have to have an idea of what to do. Or really, never mind. I should advertise for myself. The easiest way to learn how to drive a manual car is to watch my tutorial, which is the most popular video I have ever uploaded. When will you use something else besides a GoPro? Never. Here's something interesting. Uh, what does a full-time YouTuber do for something like, say, health insurance? Do they? Do benefits like that or would you, no, uh, YouTube does not do anything for you. YouTube doesn't even take taxes out. So, um, you know, you are, as a YouTuber, you are essentially a subcontractor for Google. That's how they pay you. They, they pay you as non-employee compensation. That's how you get paid. Uh, so for instance, for me, for health insurance, I have to go out and get my own health insurance. And as a, a healthy 24 year old, it's very expensive. Um, you know, I could, I could talk forever about health insurance. I won't, I won't go into that. But yeah, as a YouTuber, you don't get, you, there's no benefits. It's not that type of job. You know, you don't get a 401k, you don't get benefits. Um, you know, you're all, you're all pretty much on your own. Will you buy an enclosed trailer to haul the Z06? Uh, I, maybe, I mean, I'd like one, but I also don't think it's really necessary. I just gotta haul one car. Um, although they are nice, they are definitely nice. Do you think the ZR1 will be slower or faster than the, than the McChicken in a straight line? Definitely way faster. The ZR1 is gonna be a way faster car than the McLaren. Uh, the only thing of it is the McLaren will be easier to drive faster because it is less powerful and a little bit more user friendly. But the ZR1 is gonna be, the ZR1 I think really is going to be a fucking monster, but we will see very soon. If Trump builds the wall between us and Mexico, where will you race? Let me tell you something. And for all you Trump voters out there, which I'm a Trump supporter as well, I will admit, but uh, that wall is never being built. That wall is never gonna happen, and sure as shit, Mexico is never gonna pay for it. If, that, if, if Trump successfully builds a wall, by the time his first four years is up, I will eat my shoes. Will you get a 2019 Chevy 4500 HD dirt? I don't even think Chevy has a 4500. I knew you were getting rid of the McLaren, two Corvettes now, I'm not getting rid of the McLaren. Would you own a 1984 GMC 3500 dually? That's awfully random, but I suppose. Uh, would you buy a 720? We talked about that. What are your thoughts on the Ferrari Pista? I have no idea what that car, I don't give a shit actually. I couldn't care any less about Ferraris. I really couldn't. They're just, they're so boring to me and I don't even keep up with them. What do you think about the new Supra? Yeah, you know, people are really excited. The problem is like nobody would care about the Supra name if it wasn't for the fact that that car just happened to become a legend and now it has all this history behind it and it's like a, you know, it's a very nostalgic car and people look back, people from my generation, my age, look back on it as this like hero in video games and movies. Um, but I think the new Supra is gonna be a disappointment for people and I think they're not gonna be happy with it. Just like the NSX, that car's a total failure. I hope the Supra isn't like that, but I don't have high hopes for it. And I lost my spot 
So we're gonna end with BZ Marrow. What sandwich do you put under the seat of the McChicken? Now this is from an old video. He's been following me, which thank you for your support. He's been with me since essentially day one, really. And I made a video a long time ago. There was this thing going around YouTube, like wait, this was like two and a half years ago. And it was YouTubers challenging other YouTubers to do a uh, essential items to keep in your car video. So I did one, but I did like a total joke. You know, everyone was like, you know, first aid kid and like, a spare tire inflator and a jack and all this stuff. So I made my video and I had like guns in my car, uh, an IBA, a sandwich, and a plate of spaghetti under the seat. So um, what sandwich do I keep under the seat of the McChicken? Obviously McChicken. That is the real end of the video. Thank you for spending time with me today. Hope you have a great night.